finally released its first affordable car, the Model 3. Now the Model 3's base price is $35,000, and that's before incentives. Because it's an all-electric vehicle, it's subject to a $7,500 federal tax cut. However, if they sell more than 200,000 units of the Model 3, which is very likely, that $7,500 starts being reduced incrementally. In fact, in just two days, Tesla has sold 276,000 pre-orders on the Model 3. Online, you can go fill out a $1,000 refundable deposit to reserve a slot for the Model 3. Now, they are set to hit consumers sometime in 2017. Now, during the uh, reveal, Elon Musk didn't seem all that confident that it would actually hit 2017, but we'll see, maybe a late 2017 release date. Some cool facts about the car. The base model, Model 3, so no options, you get it for $35,000, you get your tax cut. Zero to 60 miles an hour in under six seconds. I'm guessing somewhere around 5.8. That's pretty great. Tesla is saying that they don't want to make slow cars, and they've proven that with ludicrous mode, the P90D, and the Tesla Model S, and the Model X. Likely, they are going to make really fast variants of the Model 3 as well. However, options can make the car a lot more expensive really quickly. It's not that difficult to option the Model 3 up to $60,000. Elon Musk tweeted that an average, lightly, medium option Model 3 would be in the range of $45,000. So, $35,000 sounds great, but that is a bare bones base model. Now, Tesla focuses on safety. Because of its lower center of gravity, because of the aluminum crumple zones that they have, they are able to get really good crash rates. Having those really compact, sturdy batteries at the base of the car, an all aluminum chassis, and then having front and rear sections, which they can have aluminum that can crush to absorb the impact, means it can get a higher safety rating than a lot of other vehicles that have a large engine in the front and less space to have crumple zones. Five star crash test ratings all around, not an average, but in every single category. Because it's a fully electric vehicle, that allows some cabin changes in the interior. Elon Musk is saying that it's going to have the largest amount of room in the inside of any car in its class. In part, that's because since there is no engine, you can push the dash forward and you can shrink it down widthwise, move the front occupants forward as well, closer to the front of the vehicle, and that gives more leg room to the rear occupants. They're also going to have a full one-piece glass panoramic for the rear, which allows more headroom as well in the back. Now, there are some styling differences from your typical uh, ICE car, internal combustion engine. Notably, there are no grills. Normally, you'd have to have some cooling ram air into the engine to help it run smoothly, but with an electric vehicle, you don't have that. So there's no grills at all in the front, which at first look looks a little bit strange, but it's actually grown on me, and especially it looks nicer in the Model 3 having all one color than it does with the two-piece black insert for the Model S. You've got new wheel options which look fantastic. The updated LED front headlights look great as well. Overall, the vehicle looks like a smaller, sleeker Model S, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. Apparently, the Model 3 has been Elon Musk and Tesla's goal all along, starting with the Roadster, very limited production, to show that you could make a fast electric vehicle, 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds, taking a Lotus, proving that an electric powertrain can be effective. Then they moved on to the Model S, proving that it could be a four-seater, a practical vehicle, and be fast, and not look like a cheese wedge, like the Prius. Then they moved on to the Model X, provide some more room in the interior, innovated gull wing doors, and in part, the Model X was used to get more profit in order to produce the Model 3. There's a lot of startup costs involved in mass producing the Model 3, and a lot of that is due to the batteries. Tesla wants to increase production to 500,000 units per year, uh, close to 2020. The Gigafactory is going to play an enormous role in Tesla hitting their target of 500,000 vehicles per year by 2020. It's going to be fully operational at that year and produce the same amount of lithium ion batteries as the entire world's production with all the factories 
combined. It's going to be a building that has the footprint that's the largest of any building ever created. And the volume is actually the second largest of any building building ever created. So clearly Tesla likes to go big or go home. They've pioneered one of the fastest first electric vehicles, one of the best selling all around sedans, and now they've made it cheap to compete with the Chevy Bolt, the Chevy Volt, the Prius. I'm really excited to see where it goes and absolutely it is going to be an extremely competitive vehicle in both the base model and whenever they come out with the P93. Hope you found this video informative. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video.